Tennessee has recently passed a law that's going to force all law enforcement agencies in the state, whether they're state, whether they're local, even campus police, to act as an extension of ICE in enforcing immigration laws. And at the same time, it's going to penalize local jurisdictions that enact any kind of sanctuary policy. This is called House Bill 2315, and it just became law in Tennessee within the last 10 days. It, it prevents any government agency or official or entity from having any kind of a sanctuary policy, which is defined very, very broadly as such things as preventing law enforcement from inquiring into citizenship or immigration status or authorizing illegal aliens to remain in Tennessee. It also requires that all law enforcement agencies negotiate memorandums of understanding with ICE to allow them to enforce federal immigration law to the broadest extent possible. Now, this can be enforced now in Tennessee in a couple of different ways by the Attorney General filing a complaint, or by any private citizen filing suit in Chancery Court against, say, a police department or um, a local municipality, alleging that they've got a sanctuary policy. And if they win, then that organization, whether it's the local police or whether it's the local government, loses all state funding until whatever it is they're doing is changed. Now. One of the effects of this law is really to eliminate any control of local police or local jurisdictions over how this issue is handled in their own communities. Let me give you an example. Suppose a local police department decided that in order to improve its interactions with the community and catch, say, sexual predators, they wanted to have a policy that if you reported a domestic violence crime or you reported a sexual assault to the police that they weren't going to ask about your citizenship status because they wanted you to report that crime and cooperate with them so that they could catch people who were victimizing the community. That would seem like something that a local police department would have the authority to do if they decided that was best for the people in their community. But under this new law, that's now out of their hands because any individual could then sue that police department in court and get its state funding cut off. Or, for example, what happens to the cost uh, that's borne by the local jail or the local sheriff or the local taxpayer if they're holding people for ICE and they're required to hold everybody for ICE? Do you think that ICE, when it comes to pick somebody up from a local jail, is going to come with a check from the federal government to pay the sheriff back for the cost or the cost of the deputies enforcing federal law? No, they're not. That is going to be borne by the taxpayers of Tennessee. It's not going to be reimbursed by the federal government. So what this law really is going to do is to make Tennessee and Tennessee taxpayers pay for enforcing federal law. And it's going to take control away from local jurisdictions in Tennessee to decide what's best for their own communities. Now, Tennessee is a conservative state, but those don't really sound like very conservative positions. Uh, they sound like positions that are going to grow the government, that are going to keep people's taxes high, that are going to cost people in Tennessee money. But to understand it, you've got to look at the climate that we live in today. Because right now, apparently, in Tennessee and in other states around this union, it's more important to pass laws against immigrants than it is to pass laws that are going to be good for local communities and give local communities control. That just seems to be the way things are now. And Tennessee passed this law and the governor, while he said he didn't approve of it, allowed it to become law without his signature. So that's what the law is now. And that's what the law is going to be going forward. Tennessee has declared itself firmly in the anti-immigrant camp. And we're just going to have to see how this plays out between the state and between local communities who think that they should do things differently. Now, life is going to be a little hard in Tennessee for a little while for immigrant communities. 
but we as Lester Law are not going anywhere. We are going to be right here where we've been in the community defending the rights of immigrants. If you have any questions about immigration law, if you want to know about this new law and how it might affect you, or you want to know about anything in an immigration case, or you think we might be able to help you with something, please give us a call at area code 423-402-0608. You can always reach us through our website at www.lesterlaw.org. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook or follow our channel on YouTube, which hopefully you're doing already, and you'll see these videos as soon as they come out to keep you up to date on what's happening in the world of immigration, whether it's something nationwide or something right here at home in our local communities. Um, so until next time, stay safe, stay strong. We'll see you soon.